record. I'll just uh, hope everybody. I'll have my phone on just in case someone's trying to get in but can't. Yeah, it's nine o'clock. Let's make a start. So have have your feet shoulder width apart. So just take your time to make sure your feet are correct. And we're just breathing in and breathing out. So you relax the feet and then draw the toes in. You sink your hips, you sink the shoulders. Relax around the jaw. And just be aware of your breath as it comes into the body. So we'll, we'll spend a little bit of time just standing and breathing. And while you're breathing, tune in to the feet and tune in to your spine. Relax around the shoulders, the elbows and the wrists. Ah, oh, great. Now sink your hips check your posture and notice the sensation of contact through the feet. So what we're going to do is we'll do some loosening and then we'll actually go through the first half of the form twice and then we'll start looking at exercises for the second part of the form. I just want to make sure um, yeah, it was a bit bit cold and there again this morning, but I just thought now let's let's just keep with the flow. So you want to sink the hips, relax around the knees, sink the shoulders, and imagine you're just lengthening in your body. Breathing in and out. Relax in the lower back. So, solid posture. Very good, everybody. That's lovely. Okay, let's, let's do this. So, uh, Feel the arms move. Just get them very soft and light. Notice the shoulder joints and just create a bit of space in your joints. So in the latter half of the form there's a lot of standing around on on one leg. So we for the for the next few weeks we'll be improving our ability to stand on one leg. And then 
inside turn so again focus on the feet feel the contact and outside turn All through the head. And then back to the middle. Take a slightly wider stance. And we'll do that one where we're closing and opening the hips. So start off slow. Just work on the feet first. All through the, the body. And a little bit faster. Make sure your knees are in line with the toes and you're feeling that hip joint open. And you're staying upright. You want to lengthen through the spine. good tall through the spine and use your eyes so you've got your eye level gaze and then raise the arms up feel that chest lovely and open hands open knees in line with the toes it's really work on your alignment your your leg alignment especially when you're doing this one it can be quite tempting for things to go out of line so resist that temptation and instead get into a habit of very good posture all the time. There we go. Fabulous. Okay, have a little shake out. I can't see out of my glasses. Keep going. <coughs> oh, I have got a lens cross somewhere. Or at least I did. No, it's just a... So, check your posture. And just check your aligned correctly, vertically. And tune in to that very quiet, peaceful, but clear place. So it's, it's really calm, but it's also very, very perceptive. It, yeah. And that's where we're moving from. So we're moving from stillness and we're also doing the stillness within the movement. So that's where the meditative aspects of Tai Chi <clears throat> are very important. So you, you know, you've got the martial, you've got the health, and you've got the meditation and they you need the all of it really and sink sink the hips lengthen through the body we'll just tune into our our bounce we'll do andrew's um the exercise i learned from andrew heckett so we're just feeling that that springs in the body and this lovely so relax your arms more so what we're going to do <clears throat> would like you to focus on having very soft and light arms because we're going to be exploring that when we do our first half. Yeah. 
So allow your arms to bend rather than putting them in a particular shape, if that helps. And the movement is generated from your feet and legs. Okay, now we're gonna turn around the elbow joint and open in the chest. <clears throat> So again, tune into the springs in the body and then change to loosening exercise. So keep the arms very relaxed. So You still need to feel that your arms are connected with the rest of the body, even though you're working on them light, getting lighter. Maintain the connection throughout your body. Keep breathing. <coughs> Okay, and this time check your posture. So it's as if you're just about to sit down, let go in the lower back. Keep your breathing natural. Just notice what you are sensing and change. and change.
feel the body relax, relax the muscles. Imagine the bones are floating. So you're, there's this upward sensation in your supporting bones. And think of the muscles as sinking. Okay, let's have a look at our weight shift. So I'll just do this from the side. So we start in our Wu Chi and then we're going to step into Gong Bu, whichever foot you like, heel toe. So take some time to get your feet just so. And then lengthen while you're 50 50. So you've got your back, so feet, spine breathing and then move and we're softly gazing forward we're listening behind and you want that gaze to be a steady steady gaze around the hips, sink the hips. So it's this slow, slow movement. Gently drawing the toes in, feeling the arches of the foot. And then sink back and turn, sink forward and turn. Okay, now try that on the other side. I'll point that way now. So, yeah, you just very carefully and with intention. We're sinking forwards and back. Softly gazing forwards, listening behind and above. Lengthening through the spine, sinking the hips, sinking the shoulders. Chin resting on a ball that's floating on water. Natural breathing. Sink back and turn. Sink forward and turn. Feel that hip joint open and close and the contact through the feet. Okay, we'll do, we'll finish on this one. Let's shake out. Okay, I will move this out of the way. Okay, so let's go through the first half of 
24 step you can mirror me I'll be going in this direction and you'll be going in towards your left so so have your feet shoulder width apart and sink down so we're going to go through this twice but before we go for it while you're standing and practicing your wu chi have your hands very and arms very very light and focus more on the contact with the feet so be really aware of the contact with the feet and your alignment and very very light very light arms let's do let's do um let's do this as a little qigong exercise so we'll just I'll show you that from the diagonal so I breathe in I breathe out I breathe the hands in so they only come in a little way they're not coming all the way in and then I breathe out and sink my hips then I just return the hands to where I found them breathe in Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. your arms a bit lighter okay and then just breathe in and out for a bit and flowy breathe in breathe out and begin Transfer the weight, transfer the weight, push it out, I'll talk you through it, gather under and hold the ball, very light in the arms, step with the left foot, part the wild horse's mane, sink back, turn to hold the ball, turn out again. Step, part the wild horse's mane, lengthen through the spine, sink back, turn to hold the ball, turn out again. Step, part the wild horse's mane, sink back, turn the waist, hold the ball turn out again this time go into cat stance and then this time side step side step right foot heel toe transfer the weight grasp the sparrow's tail and then white crane spreads its wings 20% of the weight in the front foot I am going to step back a few times because otherwise I'm going to run out of room 20% in the front foot, hold the, I guess it's Easter egg now isn't it, by the hip, brush knee and push, twist step, 
nice and relaxed. Raise the arm, brush knee, and push. Sink back, hold the small ball, sink forward. Brush knee, and push. This time, come a little more forward, spear hand. Cut down. Raise the knee. Play the peeper. So you're in rooster stance. Left rooster stance. Now turn on your left heel. Step back and repulse the monkey. Four times. Very light arms. Three. Sink forward, turn the waist, and to hold the ball, left cat stance, step, heel toe, inspect the horse's mouth, roll back, ward off. Double handed push. Sink back, turn, push out, gather under, hold the ball. Adjust your foot if you need to. Let's go back a little bit. Lengthen through the spine, arms soft and light. Step, inspect the horse's mouth, roll back. Ward off, double handed push, sink back, turn, stroke down with both arms, start a single whip, nice and tall, raise the knee, heel toe into single whip, big stance, into wave hands like clouds. Step out three times with your left leg. One more. Sink down. Okay. Let's uh, do that again. Breathing in and out. Breathe in. Breathe out and begin. Opening. Transfer the weight. Raise the arms, turn on the heel, push out, gather under, hold the ball and just make sure you're correctly positioned so feel free to adjust the feet if you need to. I'll get a little bit further out from that, that uh, window because it keeps getting in my way. Heel toe, part the wild horse's mane. Sink back and turn. This nice open feeling in the chest. 
part the wild horses move. Sink back, turn. So you've still got slightly bent knees. Swing the leg out, part the wild horse's mane, nice and calm. Sink back, turn to hold the ball this time. Turn to cat stance, and this time side step, side step. Grasp the sparrow's tail, white crane spreads its wings, and then 20% of the weight in the front foot, and then we all have to go back because we're in teeny tiny rooms, and then. Brush knee and push. Hold the little ball, raise the hands up, brush knee and push. Brush knee and push. This time, spear hand. Play the peeper. Step back and repulse the monkey. Second time. Third time. And fourth time. Sink forward. Turn, hold the ball. Inspect the horse's mouth. Roll back. Ward off. Double handed push. Sink back. Turn. Good posture. Push out. Gather under, hold the ball, sink the hips, step, inspect, oh, run out of room, inspect the horse's mouth, roll back, ward off, double handed push, into single whip, so you stroke down with both hands and extend the fingers, Cat stance, heel and toe, nice big single whip, expansive and then you turn and wave hands like clouds so the foot comes in. Now we step out, stepping out with your left foot three times, one, two, and oh, just about enough room, three, and then into single whip again. Down. So 60, 40. Okay, shake out. Right. So we, we will be doing that every week definitely the first half because it's really nice to go through it. Um, hopefully we might have some time at the end to go through the first half again because it's quite nice to do it lots and lots. Uh, the more the merrier. Let's have a short water break and then we'll stand on one leg. Great. Simon says drink water. Very good. It's good stuff. Um, mm. Yeah, we'll we'll look at detail another week. Actually, just 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 go with the flow for um, for doing the because they there's always room for improvement. But you, yeah, um, hmm. Okay, while I'm sipping my water, um, yeah, call call out. How do you stand on, how do you go about standing on one leg? What, what do you need to do? Um, good alignment, sink the, upper, sink the other hip. Sink the hips, yeah, yeah. Right, nice. any, 
good alignment. Alignment, yeah. Good alignment, sinking the hips. Anything else? Transfer the weight to the foot you're going to stand on. Transfer, brilliant. Well, you don't need me at all, do you? <laughs> so you want to sink the hips, you want to have good alignment, and you want to transfer your weight into the foot you're standing on. Fabulous. There you go. We're, we're halfway there already, so... Uh, let's... Um, Let's do golden cockerel as a, we'll do, um, actually no, let's not do golden cockerel, let's do the rising crane exercise. So this is the one I learnt from ever. So you can have your foot in back cat stance but I quite like, um, if I show that from the, the uh, back, I transfer my weight. Actually, she does the arms and then the legs. Arms, transfer, there we go. So it's quite a useful, it's, it's tempting to just do it all at once, but I, I'm trying to do it how she did it. I think, and then one more, once more. So you could stand there all day, you know, you could even fall asleep like that. So, uh, yeah. The other thing you can do is if you just, uh, this is one from Corel. Um, actually, I will, I will bring the thing down. I'll bring the thingy down. Then we can, we got more foot. <laughs> Seeing the feet, well, that's it. So one, one that Corel does is he'll, um, actually I'll do it, do it this leg. He'll stand on one leg and he'll just explore so he's moving around his other leg and standing on one leg and there's that one and basically have a have a play so you can have your arms out for balance and don't worry if you fall just use your cat stance if you feel a bit bit wobbly so you're just exploring where you can put your other leg and while you're doing that notice what's happening in the stationary leg So, okay, and then, then try that the other side. So just, you, um, actually that's, that's not enough room in the head now. You um, work out for yourselves when you want to swap legs. We'll just do this for a few minutes. So you can, you can work out where your extremes of motion are. Oop. I'm just, quite good I'm, I'm sure I used to do stuff like this when I was about four I think or something you know you'd go oh, I wonder what this does let's stand around on one leg and see what happens you know and just and then apparently eventually you can do this with your eyes closed not not today I'll try it actually oh that's horrible <laughs> yeah but you can do it with your eyes closed and um, it's sort of, there we go, brilliant. Okay, that's enough of, and you'll notice that the leg you're standing on, it's very good for your leg, isn't it? You can feel it building up muscles you didn't even know you had. So, hmm. Okay, try this one. We're gonna do some silk reeling with our legs. So you transfer the weight and the leg comes out, one, Two, and don't touch the floor. Three, so it comes out. Four, let's do eight. Five, six, 
seven and eight and then now you can rest your foot now we're going to go around the other way one two three four five six whoa seven and eight okay so if you feel yourself wobbling relax more and you can always use a wall this this isn't you know if you, if you need a wall for a bit just to have it there while you're doing your that's fine because you'll still be mainly balancing on one leg and strengthening it so do do feel free to grab a wall <laughs> so but you want the wall you want the leg on the outside compared with the wall that the one that you're moving so we'll do eight of these one two three but you want to focus on keeping your body still four five so sink the hips six sink the hips hold with the foot seven eight then I'll have a little rest. When I do this with Barry, he actually keeps the leg in the air all the time, but he's pretty good at balance. Now the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Whoop. That eighth one's quite tricky. We'll persevere with this. Okay, golden cockerel demonstration. So, golden cockerel stands in from my perspective on left leg. Golden cockerel stands on right leg. I suggest you watch. So, when I say demonstration, that means observe, that does not mean move. So you need to be able to watch what's going on. Um, if you're watching and doing at the same time, that means your attention is diverted to doing two things at once. So really watch what's going on first. Demonstration. Golden Cockerel stands on left leg. Golden Cockerel stands on right leg and then watch again from the side so but what I will do is I'll mirror you so I'll be the wrong way round and you'll be the right way round the hands you've got your tiger's mouth or your lion's mouth and if I use my prop Golden cockles a little bit further on, but it's quite tricky. So if I've got a, imagine that's a head. So uh, it's quite useful this lampshade. It's used a lot in. See. So that's about to kick them in the shin, and that's sort of about neck height. And that's pulling something down. So if it grabbed my wrist. I pull down the wrist and then you've got the knee and you've got your, your toes in their shin and you've got that. So okay, let's give it a go. Okay, also you want your elbows vertical. Okay, so uh, yeah, golden cockerel stands on right leg and left leg. Golden cockerel stands on right leg, and then just hold it, and then put the f down. Golden cockerel stands on left leg. That's it. So you sink your hips. So the elbow is down. The elbow stays where it is. You're just bending in that arm. So, so notice where your elbows are, 
have a look that's where they're going to so the only bit that's raising is this tiger's mouth and then maybe slightly up with the elbow actually but with a with a slight projection forward so you're not fully out you're not fully up it's this diagonal kind of angle and we'll just keep going that's it so keep your elbow where it is that's not keeping your elbow where it is pay attention keep your elbow now that's moving your elbow you moved your elbow there keep your elbow still that's better good yeah so it's more about how you approach the movement rather than getting it in the right place in as fast a time as possible you want to take your time to get your movement correct that's much better okay how we all do it yes yeah okay everybody taller through the spine yeah so you need okay just relax a sec you need to keep your elbows still so that's so you need to keep your mind focused you need to keep your mind calm so you're just doing this actually let's let's forget the forget the um just do this look that's it okay now slow it down slow it down now notice notice the relationship between the hand going down and the hand coming up there's a correspondence going on there so notice where your elbow is in relation to yourself that's it so keep your elbow where it is there you go and if you notice your elbow drifting it's the same as if you notice that a foot sticking out or you've gone on one leg it's because you've you've lost your attention so a way of measuring your focus is by how clear your body movements are that's it we are cooking on gas fabulous right now for fun let's just look at the foot movement on its own so you want to keep the rest of you as still as possible if you wobble that's okay but focus on keeping still so you need to calm the mind yeah good you're all you're all doing something like it this is great right now golden cockerel stands on left leg golden cockerel stands on right leg so what's important is the arm bends and then it comes down and then the arm bends so I don't need to do anything with my arm except bend it okay when you're doing this sink your hips more so sink think of a downward movement which is a counterbalance to the upward bend that's it and when the arm comes down extend your fingers outwards so we come up and then as we come down imagine you're in water so that pushes down we come up okay one more time each side that's fabulous okay uh, 
But hang on, I'm just having a think. Huh? Oh yeah, okay, this one's quite tricky. We're gonna, hang on. Right, I think this is the, yeah. So get into a left single whip. That's it, and sink down and just think big thoughts. Now, sink back, turn, raise this hand up, bring this hand in, and then go into cat stance, and then high pat on horse. There we go. Have a look, just join it. That was great. That was a very, very good joining in everybody. That was wonderful. So I'm gonna show that from the front and I'll also show it from the diagonal. It might be a bit, the problem is on a screen, you haven't got the three dimensionalness. Then you've got when we're in a hall, uh, which is a shame really, but there you go. So I go one, two, three, four. High pat on horse. And then from here, actually I'll show it from the side. One, two, three, four. Simples. Let's give it a go. So single whip, one sink back, two turn, three cat stance, four raise the leg and swap your hands around and this is like a bird's beak. You've just gone But you can have the you can have the hand about there. Okay, let's do that again. One, two, three, four. So, and that's quite extended. And then once more we're feeling, and then we better do three on the other side. So we we've got. We've got a matching pair of legs then. One, sink back. Two, turn. Three, bring the leg in. Four, high pat on horse. Nice. Okay, let's try that single whip the other way around just to confuse everyone and get our brains completely confused. <laughs> so, one, sink back two turn I mean in reality we just do it on the, the side that we've done it three bring the leg in four high pat on horse so it's about chest about chest height with the other hand oh gosh there you go it's just confusing doing it on both sides one sink back two three four and then once more Nice and big, so nice big single whip. Imagine you're in the display team, one sink back, two turn, three and four. Very good, shake out. Whew. Okay, let's, um, let's do the first third of the form just to finish off. That was good, we'll, we'll keep plugging away with that and um, yeah. Breathing in and out. Breathe in. And be good. So just to the end of step back and repulse the monkey. Think about very light arms. Transfer the weight, push out. Gather under, hold the ball. I'll shuffle over here a bit. Step. Part the wild horse's mane. Sink back and turn. Step. Part the wild horse's mane. Part the wild horse's mane. So a little bit, slightly bit faster, not too far. Grasp the sparrow's tail. White crane spreads its wigs. Oh dear, my hands disappeared. You all know what you're doing. 
brush knee and push sink back turn brush knee and push sink back turn brush knee and push and spear hand cut down raise the knee play the peeper and then step back and repulse the monkey one step back and repulse the monkey two three and four very good okay let's uh it's coming up to 10 o'clock so find your feet i'll just uh yeah good work today i mean we're doing we're doing well so we'll, we'll persevere with the standing on one legness and do all the movements that require standing on one leg and then start um we've snuck in the first move of the second half high pat on the horse so we'll just go back to this one you feel that your whole body is connected and engaged and we're all breathing very nice so yeah you're all moving much better that's fabulous very good okay and then embrace the tiger return to the mountain One more. And then polish in the face. Um, rub the hands together again and polish in the back. Give the back a nice rub. So. Oh. Great, okay, just stand for a moment, check your posture, nice and relaxed around the jaw, just feel really tall. Really tune into the ground. Focused and relaxed. And then make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, feet together and well, well done everybody. Good effort. Very good effort. Fabulous. Wow. <laughs>